Hey, this is Liddy Michelle, aka Big Liddy. If you want this bag, come and get it. And I'm here today to tell you to go ahead to Body Crush Studio and get you a luxury V Steam for thirty five dollars on Wednesdays. Barbie, how you feel? Huh? Girl, feel real good. I'm over here just relaxing because you know V Day was yesterday, girl. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You already know I'm over here cooling, big cooling. <laughs> <laughs> cooling, cooling. So y'all make sure y'all head over to Slauson and Rempaw, Body Crush Studio, and get this v scene, baby. You want that coochie clean, come and get it. to Batty Therapy. It's your girl, Liddy Michelle. And I'm here doing something that some of y'all don't do, but y'all be in the comments talking about me. Mm -hmm. And y'all don't be having nothing clean. But anyways, this is Batty Therapy. the One of the best segments on the Liddy Show. And today, I have the notorious, the funniest, the fishiest, the cunt, the beautiful, the lead barb in charge. Ding, ding, ding. They so ring. SoCal Barbie. What's going on? It's SoCal Barbie. You guys know who I am. They know my vibe. I'm all over. I'm all over. Yeah, I'm all over. Hmm. Well, hi, Liddy. Thanks for having me, boo. Thanks for coming because... Sometimes we just gotta... Oh, this feels so good. How are you feeling right now? I feel relaxed. I feel relaxed. Do I know how to treat a lady? Lovely. Thanks for the food. I feel full too. Full and relaxed. Thank you. Dinner was great. Dinner on Liddy. Big Liddy. <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving Daddy vibes. Oh my God. Yes. So... We're here um, at Batty Therapy, and I'm first off, I'm very happy that you're here, and that you know you, we cool. Right. Well, you know we've always had this, you know, this nice little relationship to where I can call you, laugh, mm -hmm. you know, cuss you out sometimes. Okay, yeah, but it be I can cool. Do the same. Oh, you be bullying me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them you be bullying me. I'm the one need the therapy. No. I'm just no, <laughs> No, your friendship is really good, no shade, to have because you like a ear and you like words of wisdom when needed, you know? So, I like that. And you a breath of fresh, funny-ass air. Thank you, love. So, we're going to get straight into this aroma of good energy. Right, because it's felt really, like, peaceful right here. So, Barbie, I, I went ahead, I looked at social media and stuff like that. The last time when you came to the Liddy show with Isaiah, it was so many people like, Barbie needed her own interview. Like, they was so mad at me, but they didn't understand that that was a moment for, you know, not just Isaiah, but for all of us to be right. you know? Don't be mad at Liddy, y'all. I'm here today. <laughs> Thank you. She, Barbie is here today. So, not too much on me. Okay. So, the Mattels, what you call them? The Mattels, big Mattels. So, it's, it's amazing how all of us all have our own supporters like uh, Brie has the Brie skis, mm -hmm. Cash has the unicorns, I have the Liddy babies, and you have the Mattels. Mattels right, the Mattels. So how the Mattels treating you? They, the Mattels love me. Like, um, I, my page was recently took for me at 115K. It kind of, I kind of like got in a little funk, but the Mattels was all in my DM. They was like, girl, we're going to get you back. We're going to get you back. Girl, I'm almost at 50K in a few weeks. So, thank you guys. Shout out to Mattel's. You know, y'all always gonna have mother right. I was looking like that because I just got so annoyed when you said page deleted. Oh. Just so. You, you, let's pretty, take you, a, you almost 100K girl again, right? Let's take a, a drink. They can't stop. They can't stop um, greatness, girl. No not shade. only can they not stop greatness, but we fall down, but we, we get, get up. up. <laughs> we fall down and we get up. Yes, My nigga drink. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
<laughs> Liddy, why are we stupid like this? Don't die, bitch. But <laughs> let's get to this is body therapy. Get back serious, Barbie. Okay, come on. Let me try to be serious in this moment. I don't like being serious. You don't like being serious? Not really. You just want to be funny 24-7. Why not? It's easier. It it is easier. And you know what that sometimes is? That's sometimes a coping mechanism. You think? I know so. Okay. I know so. But it's not a bad thing. Somebody told me that before. That's why I could say it to you. You know, sometimes we do different things to cope. Like, you know, to cope mm-hmm. and, and it's not necessarily have to be pain or it's not necessarily have to be just something that just in your life that just makes you mad. I feel like you laugh at everything because it makes everything better for you. So a lot of people don't know how to handle public embarrassment. But you are one person that I know that handles public embarrassment like like a true champ. Like, you the goat of that shit. So, when season three came, you had already been on on TV already. So, when season three came and you had that fight with Sky and everybody already know, no hands though, pull hair the whole time. In that moment, I remember, like, you took it well. But at first, you really didn't. At first, you were, like, so upset. You was mad. I remember my daughter, she was like, Mama, call Barbie. You remember that? Mm Mm-hmm. And and my baby was mad. Yes, she was. She said, I do not find that uh, funny, nothing. She was really upset. She was like, not Barbie. She didn't want to see that. So how did how did it really make you feel, Barbie? To be honest, it, it 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 broke me, but I never let them. I never I never wanted them to know that it broke me. You get what I'm saying? So it did. You get what I'm saying? But it was like either do or die at that point, bitch. You went on TV. You know, like you have you had a highly humiliating moment on TV. So at this moment, it's like either you're gonna tear yourself down too, or you're gonna make the best of it. And then, like, I just didn't know how I was going to come back from it. And then um, I was on the phone with my sister, Persuasion. Um, she was like, like, we was talking about it. I was like, oh, girl. Like, after when the trailer dropped, the trailer had dropped. And then I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I was like, I was seeing, you know, like, the comments and stuff like that. They, it, they was talking, like, bad about it. So I'm like, okay, this is not going to go right. But then again, um, Persuasion, like, I started talking with her. And then she was like, Barbie, I can't, she was like, sister, don't get mad at me, but she like, I can't get that out of my hair, like, head, like, it was so, she was like, it was so funny when you said pull hair whole time, and I was like this, was it? She was like, sister, that, she was like, she was like, I know it was a bad, you know, thing that happened to you, but she was like, that was funny, and I was like, you know what, bitch, shit happens to everybody in life, this is just my story, that part, you feel me, so I said, you sure, sister, it's funny? She said, yes, girl, it's funny. And then I just started going with that. And then, and then I liked it because I, I, I honestly thought that it's going to be a, a bad situation regardless. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got your hair scalped on TV. So you either can dwell in the misery or you can make it to something beneficial. And I was like, um, I went viral from it and I started, like, accepting the things that I cannot change. It changes things that I can't. I cannot change that. I already came out in the world. What I can change is how you guys still view me in my next step. And I got what I wanted. They view me, they view me as the funny girl. Hmm. It didn't break me. It actually, I actually gained from it. So. No shade. You gained a whole lot. <laughs> you gained a whole lot. And with you gaining a whole lot, you know, it's people that look up to you and admire your strength for that. Because everybody can't take that. Some people will break. They'll fold. They'll feel like they can't come from that. But you turned something that everybody was laughing at into a laugh. And now that everybody. I was comfortable with. Exactly. Because I knew it was that, but I wasn't comfortable when they first seen it. But I got something that made me comfortable in a way that, that, that the laughing. Like, it was, at first, I'm not going to lie, it was laughing at me. But now I got people laughing with me. 
Anything I say is funny to them. Anything mm -hmm. I do is funny. So now they laughing with me. First it was laughing like, oh, that girl scapped you. Now I turned the narrative. Now they laughing with me. That's the difference. I didn't like the poor here whole time because like how that narrative went, I felt like I was like getting laughed at. But now I changed it to where they laughing with me. I'm funny, girl. You are. They're going to always laugh with me. All the time. <laughs> all the time. All so the time. So I embraced it. Clap you know? to that. All the time. All the time. All the time. So... It was a long time. Ooh, it got a little hot. I closed my legs. You did? You better. Ooh, I got to mm -hmm. open. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Girl, right. Make it up. Make it up. Make it up. Make it up. Make it Okay, let me stop. 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 Girl, I'm having the time of my life. It is the day after Valentine's Day. Look. Okay. <laughs> nah, I ain't getting okay, it. Okay, for real. It. But, um. Yeah, so good. You you overcame that. Barbie's on fire. Now, with Barbie being on fire, we hadn't seen Barbie on TV in a minute. But Barbie, which is, is said all over the internet, and you made the announcement that you were working on a new show. Right. So the show that you was working on and South Central Dollhouse that's coming out, a lot of the supporters, they were upset. I had shared the flyer on Twitter. I had seen um, one of the blog pages, and I think it's like uh, Reality Baddies Inc. and more, or something like that. I'm sorry mm -hmm. if I'm wrong, but I'm going to make sure I put you in the description. But I had seen they had posted it on Twitter, the Dollhouse flyer, and a lot of the people in the comments, they, they was from every social media they were upset that you're not on dollhouse can you clear it up why you're not on that flyer so they could stop being mad yeah because i had um the reason why i'm not on dollhouse deliberately is because i had this a tv show that with uh somebody that's high end you know what i'm saying it's and, and it will be in that contract it will be conflict of interest to do like the same uh, type of thing like it's I did an all trans girl show already it just ain't aired yet but it will soon enough air but that's the reason why I can't do dollhouse because it's conflict of interest so it's not like I'm letting down my supporters and stuff like that it's just that I'm trying to stay like good in the industry you know like I can work with Barbie Barbie could follow a contract Barbie could do this Barbie could do that I don't want to be one of those like she just this 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 you know like you just thirsty to be thirsty, on TV. Like just thirsty on TV. I don't have to do every single thing. Like I did that, you know, just a few months ago. Now another one coming. So yeah, I gotta sit back and relax, you know, and wait my time. Oh, so this is your boss lady era? This is boss lady era. This is boss. I'm a boss. I'm a true boss. And I'ma teach you how to be a boss. Yeah. No shame. Oh my son. Okay. <laughs> I just love the energy that you bring in, baby. I just love it. It's just so, it's so lively. It's right. so lively. It's so lively. That's wonderful. I like that. So, boom. This new trend show that you're doing, and when is it supposed to be coming out? Like, I've been hearing about it. Like, do y'all um, have a date yet? Um... It will be coming out within a few weeks. Like the noise should be start making. You get what I'm saying? I've been seeing, yeah, like y'all seen stuff on like Little Shay. Uh, so like March, March 2024 20, yeah, should be March, coming out. April maybe. You get what I'm saying? Within the long time of the lines, you never know. But I guess because it's something like really big, they're really gearing up. Like you get what I'm saying? It's gonna make the noise that I need to make and and. You know, everybody filmed something they wanted to be rushly come out, you know? Because mm -hmm. I know my supporters and my fans want me to be on TV already. Oh, not, well, I am going to be on... I'm on Mean Girls. Oh, we was going to get into that. Okay, well, this new show, it will be coming out before the summer. I will say that. Okay, period. 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 Because... A lot of people, they were very upset. Like, I seen the frenzy. Did you see it? Don't act like you didn't see they be, it. They be upset. They was like, how could Barbie not be on the show and stuff like that? They was kind of even mad at the, C the CEO because he called me, too. He was like, um, you know, like, the fans, like, you know, the fans see you. They want you on the show. You're going to let your fans down. You're going to let your supporters down. 
I'm like, I, I'm not trying to let nobody down. Like, y'all about to see what's going on. I'm like, so. <laughs> Shit about to get real, real this year. Mm-hmm. So Barbie doing the damn thing. Yeah, I got some motion. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie. Did I say that? <laughs> Cause she got it. <laughs> okay, Barbie got motion. Got a little son. <laughs> so, what outside of uh, no questions? There was a new video that you got dropped, a mm-hmm. new song and video. We got some shout outs in there. Little Breeski on the handstand, yeah. and like yes. you know, and all that. So, what's you got any other music coming out? Um, yes. Um, I actually did a song to um, um, season four. Which which song? Uh, it ain't dropped yet. I go make it this week. I finally finished writing to it. It's called Run for It's Run. Who was running? Huh? Who was running? Uh, it was a few bitches running on season four. Like in the house? Yeah, like running from Billy, right? Running when from they Billy. Run, running from Billy. Was they running from Billy? Oh, I picked up an iron. I don't know. But I, <laughs> no, but I think like people was running from Billy from what I seen on the thing. So I just was like, damn, it was a lot of Forrest Gump going on this season. It was a Forrest Gump season. Mm-hmm. It was a call every bitch out season two. Did you clock that? I clocked your tea and the oh, whole okay. house was quiet. Okay. I did clock that tea when you okay. called everybody out and the whole I'm house was quiet. I'm just making sure I'm not in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was some girls on there giving Forrest Gump and I really, it, it inspired me to write, write a song about it. Run, Forrest, run. Mm-hmm. House party going up to Forrest, run. <laughs> yeah. Why is everybody trolling season four? Y'all want this season to be viral. Y'all need to let season four lay to rest. Season minute, four, but season gotta, four was not as viral as season three. I just, I'm it. not feeling it. But it's still South Central. Y'all still put it on. So I deserve. I think y'all deserve a song. Well, you using that? Mm. Welcome to Batty Therapy. Where we speak positivity, we love on each other. We don't talk about each other. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We love our family, and we continue to love our family. But sometimes you gotta love certain people from a distance for your peace. For your peace, because I can mean you well, but guess what? That don't mean that you might always mean me well. So who am I to continue to over, over, overdo, over be loyal? Right. Over, over, I love you. Over, please know who am I to do that? No pussy. It's some people that are put in this world to be with you, but then be against you at the same time. And sometimes they don't notice how much against you they are to where it makes them look a certain type of way. But when they go to sleep at night, they know what they did. But do they care? Are they heartless? Are they soulless? Are they going to do anything to get to the top? I'm not those people. Right. My mama raised me right. My mama raised me to love my family. My mama raised me to put them first. My mama raised me to put loyal people over family too because all blood ain't good blood. So I just love everybody. But some people you love from a distance because I know what my squad was like. Oh, my soul. Cause if you want this fade, hey, come, come and get, get it. it. You know. Mm-hmm. So we are gonna take God. a shot to that. No, that was some real shit though. And I felt that uh, when you said some blood and good blood, yeah, girl, I be feeling, girl, that 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 be true though. No shade. So cause family, cause like just because you family, like, I know family. Sometimes people in your family that you probably don't even talk to. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I don't probably even talk to other people. Don't talk to, but that is true though. Cause some people. That you want to think show you loyalty or show you the biggest loyalty like a motherfucker. Oh my and that's, God. And that's the truth. Strangers mm-hmm. will support you before your own. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's always like that. But it's okay. So, you, growing up, was your family, like, were they very accepting or did you have to fight for your acceptance? Um, I had to fight for my assess- assessment in the beginning. I felt like that because I was the only, like, boy that my mama had. She had, like, all girls. So it was, like, they was banking on me to be the, you know, the boy of the family. Or, but it wasn't that for me. So it was, like, all girls, you know. And it was it was a little bit, it was challenging for them to accept me. Mm-hmm. It was challenging. It was. 
It was challenging. Uh huh. And it was challenging too because I was trying to get them to accept me and I was trying to accept myself. So it made it extra challenging. You get what I'm saying? It made it extra challenging. Mm hmm. So did you have to fight a lot? Like physically oh, fight? Yes. Um, like I used to like, um, I, I went to Washington Preparatory High School. Period. Yes. There so, you girl, go. you know, gangbangers, all type of niggas go to there. Like, you know, gangbangers, you know, some gangbangers do go to school. You get what I'm saying? It's school. So, you know, I was I was always feminine. You know, I always was switching and stuff. So, a lot of problems came my way. Trying to go to school, trying to switch, act gay. So, it was like, bro can't be over here. Woo. So, I had to fight for who I am. You know, win, lose, or draw, I had to, like, fight for who I was. You was no fighting niggas at Washington? I was fighting niggas at Washington. I was fighting niggas on the block and stuff. Not saying I was whooping all them niggas, but I did not just was getting out there, like, getting beat up. And then niggas was like, it's like, I did myself, uh, I think I handled myself accordingly. You know what I'm saying? I didn't bitch out. I didn't, like, you know, be marked out because I was gay. And they thought that I was, like, oh, is the mark? No, I always fought, so I can't my respect. It was only like that for a moment of time. But when I, after I stood on business a year or two, I was okay in the hood. It was like nobody can tell me nothing. Because you didn't already didn't defend it yourself, got your uh, ass whooped, got my little, and came back. Was, came you, was, back. You, was you one of them crazy motherfuckers when you got your <laughs> ass whooped, you came back with shit? Like, yeah, I used to keep wanting to uh, fight. And they'd be like, cut, uh, calm, um, like, nigga be like, calm, calm, like, calm, uh, calm down. Like, uh, be like <laughs> my homegirls be like, he wasn't going to even mess with y'all in the first place. That's what left good. Like, you know he going to be under. Um, so I had a cousin. I had a, a homegirl that called me cousin. Mm -hmm. You could have said it, you know, for the niggas could be like, uh, leave her alone. The family. Yeah. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Like, I had a homegirl that was close. Like, no, this my cousin. Like, like she'll get out. Y'all can't really just do her. Like, like this my cousin. And then do him like that. Like, you know? So I, w I was using that line. Like, I always messed with hood girls, so I always was like, yeah, like, I'm y'all cousin, okay? Before they won't say nothing, you know? And if, and if, if Fitch was let me have, like, this my cousin. <laughs> Period. Period. So you always snuck your way into I something. I snuck my way into things. Like, yeah. I, I, I didn't give up that easy. Like, I wanted to be a part of the popular crowd in school, so. I was the class clown, you know? I was, like, the funny bitch. Like, you got to love me. Mm -hmm. Period. You're just vibrant, <laughs> huh? I know people who told me about you. Uh, they were calling me. Shout out to Deanna. She was like, yeah, because, well, yeah, Barbie? I know Barbie. Barbie was thumping. Uh, Barbie was crazy. You know, so you, you, you got that respect in your community, you would say. Yeah, in my community. They knew I was like, mess. I never turned down anything. I always fought. I always turned up. Now, I, I, TV shit, yeah, but my everyday life, I just be chilling, having fun, you know? Not too much, you know. <laughs> so, so with your with your TV life, so you've been able to balance like your friendships and your TV life, or is it hard to balance them? Um, it's hard to balance them because it's like you know, like why these bitches is talking to you. You get what I'm saying? Like it's like you know, like if. If I wasn't who I am now, bitch, we, like, it would still be, like, because the bitches that's being in your face nowadays was the ones that telling you, like, bitch, you're not going to get nowhere. Bitch, you're not going to woo-woo-woo. They see it. Now they love you. Oh, they love you so much. Oh, bitch, you remember when we used to? You remember when we used to? It don't, it don't even be like that. It don't even be like that. Why would, like, what? Like, no. It was, you're not going to get nowhere. You're not going to do this. You're not going to be this. Like, ain't nobody going to fuck with your music. Nobody was, like, what? All that everybody's doing, they fuck with my music. No question was a hit hit break for me. A hit single, no question. Got me in the door. And I haven't been in, out of the door since. No shade. Shout no out shade. to Isaiah, South Central Baddies, season three. He made the song? No, uh, he let me put it oh, on the platform. I thought he wrote your shit. Oh, no, boo boo, I write my own shit. <laughs> Don't ask no question, tell that bitch to pull up. Real booty bitch, I'm about to show you what's that. Talk to on the body, piss me off. I run that. I'm a pretty ass bitch and I do give a fuck. <laughs> oh my soul. Yeah. You wrote that. You did I wrote that. that. I ate that one up though. Thank you, world, for bopping it because they love that song. So, you know, you got a, a nice big influence with the kids. They mm -hmm. love you. We we just was across the street from here. <laughs> and they, they got. I'm my soul, my oh, my soul. And then you know, little boy. 
Wow. Ah. He tried to hit that like, ah. He tried to really, he was, wow. Wow. I said, ooh, okay. I was about to put the first down, Liddy. Oh, you no, wanted sorry. to battle I him? wanted to put the first down. I wanted to set the first down and get it cracking. You wanted no, to battle him? Good thing I did it, though, because I had to come to therapy. Yeah, because I, I, I went there to get some food, and they was like, Liddy, oh, my gosh, Liddy. And I'm like, yeah, okay, period. I want this. I want that. I'm about to support them or whatever. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm about to go get Barbie. I'm going to bring Barbie. Barbie, too? It was like they was getting, like, a, a package combo. Oh, my God. So how does it feel to have that type of influence? Because we from here. We, we from right city, here. Girl. Exactly. Do you know it's hard for people to do that? Blow up in a city, bitch. We so can how ride do you feel? I feel good, bitch. Next, no, what? I blew up in my city, bitch. When, the, when your city love you, where you from, bitch. Anybody can love you, bitch. The hardest thing to do is blow up in your motherfucking city. And that's exactly what we did. We blew up in L.A., bitch, in our city. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. Bitch, we blew up a lot of places. I don't care. But we here still. But we here though city, still, girl. and they know us. In the city. No, anywhere. The city loves me. My city loves me. What you mean? So you just loafing it all in. You just loafing <laughs> it all in. I huh? love it. You love it. You love, love going it. outside. I love it. I wake up with a smile on my face. You know, I really truly wake up happy. I do, and I, it's the life I built for my. I, we built this. You know, we chose to go do what we did. You know, no, like we we built this. Congratulations, Liddy. Congratulations, Barbie. Yes, we built the life that we love, girl. So, to so if there was a message that you could give to um, a young person that's transitioning, whether it's, it's trans woman or trans man, if there was a message that you can give to them as far as how to carry themselves, as far as like being too, true to who they are, how would you deliver that message to them? Because um, they're watching this. Um, I'll honestly say, um, don't never doubt yourself in your transition because doubting yourself in your transition, that's where you could, like, you know, do things that could hurt you longevity. You get what I'm saying? I, you, have to, you have to know what you want trying to transition. I feel like before you actually go that route, know in your heart and know what you want for yourself. For yourself, not for this person not for that person if you're going to be transition if you're going to go that route to transition and take that big step make sure that you truly feel like that for yourself that was pretty because I, I i just know that was the hardest thing for me like i had to truly learn how to a thousand percent love myself And you love yourself? A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Not a hundred, a thousand percent love myself. Amen. Amen. And and everybody sees that. They see the confidence that you have. Like, they, they love it. Now, some people think you overconfident. <laughs> and, and that's okay. <laughs> I'd rather be overconfident than less confident because if I'm, if I'm overconfident, then you, if I'm overconfident, I'm going to always remain big when somebody's trying to tell me uh, things to fix about myself. So you can't never uh, bring my confidence to low. You can only bring me, you get what I'm saying, level confidence. I'm overly confident. So you can only bring me to normal confidence. If anything, you can never lower my confidence. Because I'm already over the top confident. So, you know, that's how I'm able to take things into people and actually look. Because I always think, I already think confident in myself. So, like, if somebody do tell me something, I could take it in. Because even if it makes me feel like an inch, it just not, I'm not, I would never get too low because I've been low before. And I know how I feel, and I'm far from that. Speaking of a time when you were low, I remember there was something on the Internet about somebody robbing you, a, mm -hmm. a close friend. Right. And I, I remember... I remember you calling around and you saying your your leg was broke at that time. And I remember you uploaded a picture of your leg being broke and somebody had attacked you prior to that mm -hmm. to mess up your leg. And this was all in the same week. Like you got attacked 
robbed and literally everything. a day or two after e each other and i was like i was actually robbed by a, a supposedly close friend named amberlyn she go by black amber on the internet or whatever i was actually robbed by her due to the fact that i couldn't get her to a zeus premiere we was all the way in a whole nother city and um i couldn't get her to the zeus premiere because we was don't matter uh no lie we were supposed to go to the premiere but then I end up, I end up getting attacked with some. Um, what premiere? Like um, which premiere? Which it was the baddies. Premiere? It was the baddies. Um, East premiere. The baddies East premiere. So she was trying to be on baddies. She wanted to get to that premiere because I guess Zakiana, everybody, you know all. Zakiana. Like, yeah, you know Zakiana and them on baddies East and stuff. Like everybody was at Zakiana. Yeah, Zakiana. Uh, yeah, Zuki, 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 Wuki, whatever, Wuki, the Wuki. Okay, one of the ookies. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna beat your ass. I mean, I love Zuki. I don't know, but I just can never <laughs> pronounce her name. I'm sorry, Zuki. Did I say it right? <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. So, but yeah, Miss Zukiana or whatever. She, um, I guess the girls wanted to go see Miss Zuki. She was on Baddies Ease. They got, they had um, Mariah Lee and them. You know, some names. You mm -hmm. know. So I get it. I wanted to go see the girls too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I was attacked prior to a, a John. You get what I'm saying? A trick, a John. You get what I'm saying? In my, in my personal life, in my profession, what I do behind closed doors, out of this, I was attacked. So my leg was fractured, fractured, and the girl like, oh, um, come on, we still gotta go, girl. You gonna be okay? What, girl? I'm not going. If you really wanna go somewhere, you have an Uber. You can do it yourself. And you could get there. It's Uber. It's Lyft. You get what I'm saying? I can even give you, like, half. And she was just like, oh, no. Like, well, it's okay. I'm not going to go. Like, well, she was arguing. She was having attitude. And we just basically got into it, like, a, a argument. So, um, so I told her, I was like this. You know what? You're not going to be disrespecting me. You could, you could leave. That's what I told her. I said, you could leave out the room. If that's what you wanted to do, girl, we arguing in here. Girl, you can go get your own room. It was my room. So, um... She ended up leaving or whatever. She tried to, um, I put my phone on recording or whatever to see her, like, you know, attacking me, getting in my face, yelling, screaming, calling me a bunch of bitches. I kind of recorded her or whatever, and she got mad because she looked like a psycho. I'm recording her, and she looked like a psycho. So, um, so all this commotion going on, and I'm lipping, girl. I'm like this, I'm like this. So I'm trying to find her or whatever, and I see her just run out with all her stuff or whatever, and I'm limping or whatever, and I was like, okay, woo -woo. and I looked around, and, my, and I'm like, my wallet, I couldn't chase her. I couldn't do nothing. My leg was big. Girl, I had ice packs on it. So it was just like, all I could do is call her and be like, can you please give me my wallet? You know, I'm begging her. I'm like, girl, like, I will give you money, girl. Just give me my wallet, girl. Like, don't do me like that. You can have the money in it. Just give me my ID. Give me my credit cards. She didn't want to give me that. She denied that she had the wallet and everything. The wallet was never came up. It was just me and her in the room. The wallet was never there. I never seen the wallet again. Had to get new identification cards, everything. I was like, damn, I trusted this bitch. This bitch was around me for a long time. Like, everybody knew about me and Black Amber relationship. We was close. We was doing everything together. But she robbed me over not going, not me not being able to take her to a Zeus premiere for she could take some pictures. She's that thirsty. But, I mean, I can understand it, though. She talking about she's doing all these CNNs and stuff like that, and her name's still not ringing no bells, so... Having people like that trying to get to the same thing that you're doing and you're doing it a little bit better than them, yes, it would become hate. It would be uh, uh, people being envious of you and stuff like that. I just felt like she was, it, it, it was more to that than that argument with Amber for her to steal my stuff. She, she wanted that to do that to me. It's crazy because Amber, she looks just so pretty and sweet and innocent. Conniving. Like, and you know, she do voodoo. She says she uh, know uh, witchcraft from Louisiana and stuff, like that side of town. She says she uh, know uh, witchcraft and stuff. Witchcraft? Uh-huh. And then what's crazy is, she told me she do witchcraft, but what's crazy is when I actually, like, took a, like, you know, when that happened and I actually canceled, like, me and her never talked ever since that happened, things have been better for me. Okay, this is body therapy, and we're gonna switch the time, the the topic. I don't want no voodoo, I know hoodoo, no sudo, no noodle, none of that. You didn't tell me the bitch knew magic. Mm -hmm. She knew magic. <laughs> she knew magic. Barbie.
Absolutely. She know magic. You seen her cast a spell? Uh-huh. She told me we always talk about. It. She said that it's 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 it's. The, she said it's common in that area. Louisiana, you got to look it up. Like in that type of area and that stuff. She said people always do like. It's more common in those type of areas. I was like, oh, well, I never know. I've never been out of California, so I never know. I mean, I have been, you know, little places. Bitch, you been like, out of California. Like Vegas, but I ain't really traveled to, like, no. One time you was in Seattle or some shit like that. Oh, uh, one you time. You was in Washington. That was ain't nothing. That was me. only, like, an hour away. But you been out of California. Oh, well, okay, well, out of Seattle and stuff. I ain't never been to, like, no New York, Atlanta, and shit like that. Like the. It's good. Okay. It's good. Okay. Thank you. I'm good, too. <laughs> but I ain't never been to, like, you know, like, travel, travel. Like, girl, call on, a, uh, call on an airplane and really go, like, four or five hours and stuff. Mm-mm. But I'm going to start this year, though. I'm going to get out there. Well, that's good. Get you some travel on. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. So what's next for you? Like I know, I know you're airing on Mean Girls. That show is still airing, um, and you're supposed to be on like one of the next or few episodes, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll come back and talk about that. Okay, period. We'll come back and talk about that. This right now is about Barbie. Yeah, catch me on Greek Life though. I'm captain. They made Barbie captain of Greek Life. No shade, Barbie picked me, but I declined. Yes, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not it's like okay. that not, not like, like that. that I have my reasons <laughs> yeah for reasons but, but like not yeah not like that so now that you know you got different you got different friendships and things like that and ever since that situation happened you're more protective with yourself yes I'm absolutely more protective like I be more by myself more now like I learned how to be by myself more because you can never like feel like let yourself down you know but like I like I just learned me to be more conscious, to be more aware of who I have around me, to like read between the lines. You get what I'm saying? Like the little stuff that I did go through with Amber, I always just paid it. But then I should have, I should have like paid more attention to it. So right now in your life, is there like one person who you just feel like? I can depend on this person. This is my day one. Like, this, not my day one, but just somebody that's close to you that you feel like got you, got you mentally, as a good friend, got Barbie back. Who is that in your life? You one of them. I'm one of them. Yeah, Thank you're you. one of them. But outside of me. But outside of you. Um, who I can really, like, talk, talk who to you about. Who you can really easy. talk to. It's crazy. Of. It's Isaiah. Isaiah? Isaiah is a really good ear air for me and I help him too with his stuff too but as far as like like stuff that I've talked to I talk to Isaiah a lot that's because y'all both messy as fuck and <laughs> messy people they can very like mix very well you get what I'm saying so messy ass people they really mix very well you know that's good shout out to Isaiah <laughs> no mess <laughs> yeah. we the mess <laughs> most definitely no but that's cute though so Doing reality TV, you do you necessarily say you have your guard up? Um, with reality TV, hmm. I Meaning like what? How my guard up? Like what? Lady? Like just about like making new friends in reality yes, TV. Yes, absolutely, 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 absolutely. I do. Um, I would say I would make associates. I wouldn't put that friend word until I actually like you know. But as far as this reality TV shit, it's hard to make a friend. It's, to a genuine friend, it's hard to make a friend. It's hard to make a friend, but you will have associates. I see that now. It's the difference. You're a friend. I met a friend. Hey, girl, you're a friend, but I have a lot of associates. Period. Oh, in, the, in this TV world where I say I like you, and so th- those are associates. Those won't be like no friends to me. Well, before we end this segment, I like to, I like to do two things. You already get, I like to give advice, but I want you, you, you're a veteran in this game. Mm-hmm. So I want you to give some more advice. And this advice is to new and upcoming reality teenage, re- reality TV stars and people that are aspiring to be on TV. Cause if you notice, they bringing them in younger and younger, mm-hmm. they bringing them in younger and younger. So what would you tell this generation 
this new generation of people trying to get on TV, young kids trying to get on TV, young adults, teenagers, new, old, anybody, what would you tell them to protect them and to guide them through their career? Um, honestly, we we'll say um, read your paperwork. Uh, like um, you're gonna have contracts and stuff that's given to you guys. I would just say like have somebody that you know what I'm saying that's good to you and I understand that and read your paperwork and stuff. And to try not to, to try not to. Um, let me see how can I say it. Try not to um, take this stuff so seriously with the reality TV. I say, like, do it and have fun with it, in a sense. You get what I'm saying? Don't try to make it so, don't take it so personal. Because in the end, it, taking it personal is not going to change what happened. Not. But it'll change the way people play with you, though. It will It will change. In a sense, yeah. But you'll still get played get play with it when a camera come on on TV. Yeah, but that's if you decide to go on TV. If you still decide to still go on TV. Because I was about to say, like, look, look at you guys. Y'all are, like, big dogs and fighting, like, all the fight. But y'all all still got to fight, too. So, you know, it, it, on shows, too. So it's just, like, you shouldn't take it that personal because you know that's the TV. Right. Like, I would just want them not to take... They made, they, 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 we made mistakes because we was new to this shit. You get what I'm saying? Some of us took it way personal than the other, but looking at it is like we can't change what happened down our past, you know, even though we took it, you know what I'm saying? But you can only, we only can live and learn like, okay, I'm not going to put so much into that. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm this now, you know what I'm saying? We didn't know that at first. No, we didn't. Yeah. But we grew and we, we learned. We grew. So. So I now I'm going to give you some advice and this is Liddy advice. I don't know if you've seen the advice I gave to Bree in Asia last week. I, I advised them to get notebooks and write things down and develop new plans. So Liddy advice, not even advice, something I, it's something I want you to do, Barbie. What I would like for you to do is power yourself more. I feel like you can do so much more. And I tell you all the time, I'm calling you, I'm telling you, it's a bag and you sitting on it. And I feel like you missing your coin. I feel like you selling yourself short. I feel like you working too hard and you ain't got to work that hard. So I feel like you should, you know, dig into yourself a little bit more, focus a little bit more. Cause you sitting on a bag and you been supposed to be rich. And I want to ask for some money when you get it. Okay, big dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay. God. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So hurry up. Okay, big dog. Okay. <laughs> now, oh that, my God. That was Batty Therapy. And I'm going to let Barbie lead the intro out. That was Batty Therapy with Big Liddy. Big Liddy, if you want the tape, come and get it. All right. And talk hard, Barbie. Talk hard, Barbie. And don't ask no questions. Tell that bitch to pull up. Uh, real bougie bitch. I'm about to tune in to Body Therapy. Yeah.